Hey guys, I'm back with another video and you may have noticed that the background is a little different. I've decided to film in my lounge room today, so definitely let me know if you prefer this background. I think I prefer it, so thumbs up if you like it. Now, the, this video will sort of be a two-in-one, so I want to do a very quick Q&A and I also want to go through the comments of our latest His and Hers Battle Outfit of the Day with Phil, so I'll go through our Q&A questions first. So I posted on Instagram and Facebook asking for you guys to ask me a question for a Q&A. So the first question is, hi, what made you decide to start a channel on YouTube? And that is from Mariana. Now I do have two other Q&A videos and I may have answered a couple of these questions already in those videos and I'll link them down below, but I'll answer it anyway in case you guys haven't seen those videos. So what made me decide to start a channel on on YouTube so I've always been into fashion and you guys would know that this channel is predominantly fashion videos and I have been into watching YouTube videos for a really long time now and um, I just thought maybe I'll give it a go and Phil also encouraged me to do that and he had just bought like his first DSLR camera at that time so we both I guess embarked on this journey and yeah, so I think four years later now, I'm still doing it. So I really didn't expect that I would still be doing it this many years later. I'm still really enjoying it. And thanks to you guys for supporting me. And also, Phil's also taken his whole videography thing to a new level. And he's got his own wedding videography business. So yeah, it's interesting how things work out. So the next question is, what advice would you give your college graduate self? So thanks Ellie for posting your question. Now if you're not already subscribed to Ellie, I will link her YouTube channel down below. Now I did do a whole video on my college slash uni life experience. In terms of advice, I'm just trying to think of what my you know top advice would be. And that is, I guess, to really um, push yourself and go out there and try and make as many friends as possible. When you're in uni slash college, it's very different to school life. You're not with the same people in every class. You're with different people all the time. So if you wanna make lots of new friends, definitely sort of push yourself out of that comfort zone to meet as many new people as possible. Fashion trend you regret wearing. Well, there would be lots of those, but I don't know if I actually regret it because it's sort of just part of growing up and part of the times. But I remember back when I was in high school, flares were really, really in fashion. And the more ripped they were at the bottom, the more cooler you were. And I definitely went through a flare stage. And I gotta say that they're not the most flattering for short people like me. Um, but you know, I don't know if I regret it. It's just part of the times. What's your nationality? So I am Chinese and um, I was born here in Australia. So I am Australian born Chinese. And the dialect that I speak is Tetu, which is more of a rarer dialect. It's not as popular as Cantonese or Mandarin. And coincidentally enough, Phil also speaks the same language. So my parents were very happy to hear that when they first met him. When are you would feel planning to have kids? How many do you guys want? And P.S. I love you. Maybe one day I will visit you in Australia. Oh, thank you. I love you too. So, um, when are we planning to have kids? At this stage, I don't know. Um, I know that we do want kids. How many? Um, I'm thinking that maybe two kids is a good number. I have entertained the thought of having only one child just because I feel like it looks so much easier, but Phil is totally not for that. He thinks that the, the one child needs a sibling. So it looks like we'll probably have two kids sometime down the track. Fashion or food, choose one. Now that is a super easy one. I would go for food any day. I That is definitely priority over fashion or what I'm wearing. And if you guys have watched our travel vlogs in Europe, you would know that a lot of that is just us eating because we love eating so much and definitely 
uh, food over fashion any day. <laughs> Why are you so hot? So that's my friend Lauren asking that question. Um, I'm gonna ask you back, why are you so hot? And the final question is, hi, will you do meet and greet in Melbourne? I am from Melbourne as well and have been watching your videos for a while now. I get really inspired by your fashion hauls. Thank you. Thanks so much for that. I would love to do a meetup. Um, I just don't think that many people would turn up if I was to be completely honest. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys would, you know, like to come to a meetup, definitely let me know. But but I am holding a Camberwell Market stall at the end of September and I would love you Melbournians to come and visit me. But it is the last Sunday of September and I definitely would love to meet you guys there. So definitely thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below if you would like to come to that and I'll do a separate video announcing the details. So that concludes the Q&A section of this video and I'm going to ask Phil to join us for the rest of this now. Okay guys, this is Phil. Most of you guys have seen Phil already. And we recently did another his and hers outfit of the day battle styling a picnic outfit because that's what you guys so voted you for. Yeah, I so I, I thought I thought we'll go through the comments together because Phil hasn't seen them. Um, in the very first outfit of the day battle, we've done two now in the first one, I got one vote, but I reckon that's just because you guys were being really nice and you wanted to see Phil yeah. and encourage him. But yeah, I only got one vote in that one, but let's, let's see who won this one. Let's check out the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna read through some of these comments. Linen pants got me, so Team Joe, yeah. Phil's outfit was really good, but Joe nailed it this time. Team Joe. Um, oh, the couple that styles together slays together. I love that comment. Team Phil, sorry Joe. Team Phil, Team Phil, Team Joe. Your whole outfit was kind of my style. Team Joe all the way. Team Joe. Oh, looks like I won, guys. Come on, seriously. It's a majority vote. So it's oh, one, there you go. Team Phil, one, Team one. Joe, Team 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 Joe. Oh, come on, guys. All right, next one. <laughs> I That's clearly won yeah. this one, so thanks, guys, for voting for me. Now, if you want to see more of these his and hers um, outfit of the day battles, which we really enjoy doing, definitely thumbs up. Let us know in the comments down below, and I will probably put up some sort of Instagram post or Facebook post for you guys to vote for the next outfit challenge. So that's it for this video. Do you have any final words? No, no? Team Phil, all the way. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching guys. You can follow me on my blog, which is lovecheekstyling.com. I will put Phil's Instagram in the description box below as well, as well as a link to his website, because why not? Shameless plug, if you, any of you guys are getting married. Um, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.